may prophets be upon you. Good morning. This is the AM report. You're trading with RT Money. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, let's take a look at Euro USD. Now, we had the news yesterday and uh, things went a little different. <laughs> things went a little different than uh, I expected. All right. Uh, according to my analysis, we had the uh, GDP numbers. They, they, you know, essentially uh, confirmed that uh, the U.S. is in a technical recession, having two Q2, um, two quarters in a row uh, coming in with those uh, low numbers. Uh, that That's not that's not good at all. Uh, contractions in the economy is not good. But there are other signs that show, like in the labor, you know, you look at the labor numbers and all that, uh, those things are positive. So there are conflicting reports from experts uh, uh, whether we are actually in recession or not. This is driving me crazy. Those little chirp noises, all right? I just turned them off, I'm sorry. So let's take a look at the daily. What we can see, uh, price has broken structure to the downside as I already reported before. And we can uh, see this pullback here, all right? And and then a break of, a bearish break of structure here. But you can see that price kind of went sideways. You know, it, it kind of went neutral on us, all right? And here we are. Uh, we're in this uh, this range here and we haven't, we're near the top of it, but this isn't the kind of, of situation that you want to make range plays, all right? Do you want to take buys or do you want to take sells, all right? Depending on the, uh, uh, the US dollar weakness or strength in this environment, is it a risk on environment or a risk off environment? Well, the 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 uh, uh, the markets were feeling pretty optimistic yesterday, even though we got negative numbers. So that that, that doesn't that doesn't make me want to start investing money into uh, the stock markets and and whatnot, uh, knowing that we are in a technical recession. All right, and uh, so. I'm not too, I'm not too, uh, 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 you know, I would, I'm going to expect, I'm going to expect with a, you know, a three quarter of a percent uh, basis point uh, rate, rate hike yesterday. I mean, the day before uh, with FOMC, I'm not looking to uh, put more risk into the markets. So let's look at this uh, four hour. The four hour, we have a four hour zone here that is holding, holding, holding through this range, right? What do we see here? On the four hour, we can see that price gave us a push down, a pullback, a lower low, breaking structure to the downside, right? But we did, did we actually break structure on the four hour? No, we didn't. We did uh, come and take that liquidity, but the close was above this lowest, this lowest point here, all right? Yes, technically we did make a lower low, but did we break structure? No, we did not. That's why I didn't take uh, buys here. I mean, uh, uh, shorts here, all right? Because price didn't demonstrate that it wants to go lower by having a candle body break and close below this, this low point. And we got the expected push up, a big old push up, right? And then uh, we're heading towards the top of the range. We come down, we test here. We can see that our price... Uh, mitigated this zone of demand on the four hour and we are back up into this strong zone of supply. This is a lot of climbing, all right? And we have the this news candle from yesterday. Is this yesterday's news candle? No, it's not. Here, all right? We saw the uh, climb up from... Uh, uh, yesterday's news candle boom right that shows weakness in the uh the dixie and uh the dollar and i was expecting it to come down to take out this low but we have a very big rejection up here does that mean we should be taking buys here well what it does mean for me is that 
uh, if you're looking at this range of price, all right, from this from this higher swing high up here to this low, this is the four hour um, trading range. All right, we're trading right at the the fifty percent mark. I always look for price to go higher, of course, in the premium price area as opposed to the discount price area. I'm trying to get above that 50% mark to start looking for sales, all right? But we're giving price this impulse, this correction, and this correction, I've been been bringing it up that, that the, the pullback might not be over. Maybe we might go into more premium prices for a sell. And I pointed out this, this area here, you know, especially above the, uh, at the, uh, the breakout range where we had a break of structure might be the area we would take shorts from, you know, I, I'm just something that was on the map on our radar. We said, well, we're going to keep an eye out for this because the, uh, the pullback might not be over here, but you know, when it broke this low here, I was thinking, Hey, that indicates that price wants to go lower. And then we had the news and then we rebounded to the top of the range. So I'm on caution alert right now. All right. Doesn't what it means is it's not ready to go down. All right. So we can take those high probability shorts, but we don't know. We're again, uncertain whether we're going to break this uh, supply and take a deeper pullback and then come down. So uh, we're, we're on watch, all right? We could come up and fill this imbalance, hit that supply, which I would start right about here. I would start looking right about here at the bottom of this, this, this area here, right? Right around the breakout range, okay? So I'm looking out for that, looking out for a climb here, but we have to break up here first. We have to break that up, break that out all right so let's go to the 15 where we get down and get dirty all right what i want you to see is that we're in this four hour range right price has broken this strong high here why is it strong because it had a, it caused a break of structure all right it caused a break break of structure to the downside so that gives it strength this was a strong high i pointed that out with a big old balloon saying strong high a uh, strong low here because it caused a break of structure to the upside price came back down i expected price to reject from here and it did and it did so with gusto all right i was expecting some uh, to see if this thing would hold and it broke this supply what does that usually mean that usually means the bullish momentum is pretty strong right now let's get down here. So once it broke here on the 15 minute, I'm 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 looking for uh uh for buys, right? That's what I was looking for, right? But uh we had a change of character here. Fair to point this out, all right, to the downside, which is an early warning sign that price will could continue bearishly. All right, once it broke here, uh, you know. You can look at this as a break of 15 market, 15 minute market structure. All right. And I that that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right. Uh, for me, all right, uh this this is a, a change of character, but it's in the same area that you would see you, you would look for a break of structure as well. Look, this is when it broke structure here. Okay. Not just the wick down, but it came down and said, hey. I am intending on going lower. So after a break of structure, what do you expect? A return to impulse, right? Price goes up, returns to this impulsing uh, area of this supply here. And if we look for something that we can, you know, uh, get a, a good fix on, I'm on the 30 minute. I'm looking to, to, to get a, 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 a well-formed, zone of supply we came into this uh this candle i mean we came into this zone with a lot of gusto all right i want to see if this supply holds because look at this look at this uh this gap that's crazy hold on man 
Look at that gap. Hold on. That's a very nice gap. All right. What I want you to notice here is we failed to make a new high. All right. We failed. Okay. So I don't know why I gave that sound effect. Sorry. All right. So, <laughs> uh, and price, uh, what I'm looking for is the price to, to take this out, to take this, uh, this little 15 minute baby, uh, demand out. I would like to see price take that out. And, uh, I'm looking for confirmations because I don't like this environment. I'm looking for confirmations of shorts. All right. And I'll have to, to keep my eye on the Dixie. All right. I'm going to look, keep my eye on the Dixie, but I'm looking for confirmation of shorts. I, I, I if uh, price continues to respect that high, all right, and maybe we get a rejection here. You know, that would uh, encourage me in that way. Boom, all right? But this is uh, an interesting environment here, all right? What I want you to notice is that we had a change of character here as price made a low, a pushback, a low low, a break above that pushback high. Let me put this as a chalk, all right? And we went up, but we failed to make a new high. If price continues to hold here, all right, come in 15 minutes, uh, come the New York Open when volumes kicks in, if we hold here, this will make a great area to take a short, in my opinion. But I would look for confirmations, all right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look if price... If once price gets up here, testing this base candle of this bearish and gopher uh, pattern here, if price comes up here uh, for New York session, and, and maybe even I would allow a sweep, but a respect being shown to this high, uh, uh, to this, uh, this, this zone, you know, I, I'd be looking for, I would take a short. I would think it would be a little aggressive, but I'm looking for, uh, you know, once it broke character, once it broke character, once it broke structure here, came down and respected that high. This looks like a great place to take shorts. So that's what I'm looking at. All right, I don't want to drive you crazy here, and we're coming. Look at the time. Look at the time. We got uh, a little less than 15 minutes, so uh, we have a fair value gap here. All right, if price fills that and still, uh, you know, gives us a, a nice wick, wick down from here, all right, and uh, we see that kind of candle action, you know, like it's doing right here, all right, it came back into the fair value gap, it came back into the uh, this imbalance. We'll see what it does here, we'll see what it does here, and if it continues to do this kind of, uh, or if I see some, some good indications for shorts i will take one anyway i just repeated myself and i don't like doing that okay so i want to see some respect here okay i will i uh, hope you enjoyed it smash the like button hope you enjoyed this video smash that like button do it right now i'll wait thank you very much okay uh, uh, uh leave a comment if you like the uh, uh morning analysis and um i'm going to leave this as no frills so i can get it up quick so that uh, I can get it out to my viewers. I'll put some uh, a thumbnail on it or something later. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm, all right? And that's that lets me know that you like what I'm doing, all right? I'll see you in the next video.